know, we live in a complex world. We know that graduates go into a labor market that requires them to work across disciplines, to work across sectors, to be enterprising and entrepreneurial. So we deeply believe that we prepare our graduates best if we give them a wide set of tools. And we believe passionately that every graduate will have a foothold in all these core creative competencies that they can apply widely and broadly throughout their lifetime. We want our graduates to understand not just how to make art, but how to make themselves as artists. ASU has a really good track record of making people succeed, and so there's no doubt that you'll get wherever you need to go. Each faculty member here really works and strives for all of us to become artists and make people feel something. One of the valuable things that I learned is what I do it's very crucial and that kind of it gives me a lot of energy and motivation to get up every morning to come to the studio and just make quiet. Ten years from now I will definitely still be in touch with a lot of my classmates and we will be working together professionally. I mean we've, we've learned together, we've worked together and I mean we're friends too on top of it. I feel like if you're picking a program yeah it needs to have the right criteria for you but it also needs to have the right connection with with a person. Finding people that you actually connect with is wonderful. I was able to collaborate with people that I met in Arcadia for the entire time that I've been at ASU. Living with creative individuals, creativity is going to be something that is incubated in that space. And so living in that kind of environment is, is very exciting and very fun. So you might have an art major and a design major who are working side by side, and one might be pulling ideas from the other, or vice versa. So when you're living in Arcadia and you're in this environment with a lot of other people who are in creative fields, you end up wanting to take a lot of the same classes as other people. And this is when your advisor really comes into play and they can really lend you a hand. When students come to orientation, we have the lead advisor work with that student from the time that they enter the university as a freshman, even as early as a prospective student, and then that advisor will see them through graduation. They give you a major map and it's a list of courses you need to take in order to graduate. So when picking classes, you're never in the dark like, oh, what do I pick? I don't have to worry, so my, I know my advisor knows what I need to do in order to graduate. And my advisor really took the time to, to figure out what it was that I wanted to do and set me up on the right path. By the time I graduated, I knew what I was doing. I think one of the most exciting opportunities I've had in the Harbor Grit Institute is actually working as a student worker, getting real world professional experience doing video editing and doing stuff that's actually in my field before I graduate. Some of the work that I did here ended up in the Andy Warhol Museum. We were working with City of Gilbert, the real estate development teaching at the ASU Strain Project, working with underprivileged kids. I was a part of the sculpture show at the Ice House. A friend and I have been doing a lot of like short documentaries recently. Having hands-on experience doing what I wanted to do, that was great. So being part of that culture, getting to work with talented, imaginative, open, flexible faculty and students, will be useful to you and catalyze all kinds of ideas and opportunities in every other area of your education here at Arizona State University. Welcome to the Herberger Institute for Design and the Arts.